Resident Evil Reverse should be free to play instead of being locked in at almost $60. And we haven't even heard anything on in almost a year, which is pretty concerning. Now I get that they delayed the game mode for a year to fix out those technical issues and bugs that a lot of people were complaining during the first beta back then. But to hide it behind a $60 paywall, and what I mean by that is you have to have a physical copy of Resident Evil Village. And that already sucks as it is because Resident Evil Reverse should be standalone alongside Resident Evil Village. They should both just be two separate things. They're obviously in the same franchise, but it, this could be a new way to introduce fans into the Resident Evil franchise. Now what's going on guys, it's Michael and I hope you guys are all having a great day. If you guys could join me for this video, that would really mean a lot to me. This is going to be a short and quick one and I hope you guys definitely... Resident Evil Reavers should be free to play. I've mentioned this already, but there could be so many perks and pros to doing this. I've already mentioned one and that is getting new players into the franchise. Now, I know a lot of people might disagree with me on this because this was supposed to release alongside Resident Evil Village. If you have a copy of it, you can play it, right? And continuing on, I don't really see a lot of people hyped for this. I've mentioned this in multiple videos, but I feel like this is needed to be said more and more because Capcom knows this kind of stuff. I mean, if you look at Resident Evil Resistance, the previous multiplayer installment in the Resident Evil franchise, it had issues, man. It, it really did have issues and no one really stayed in the long run. But Resident Evil Reverse could be different. This could be a continuously updated and supported game going forward, maybe multiple years or maybe a year or two, but this is something that definitely could have potential. Now, in the beta that they released a long time ago, they got feedback, and this is some good constructive feedback, the game mode would get boring. Now, I'm pretty skeptical because I'm hoping that the f the only map that they don't release is obviously the RPD and obviously that's what I'm thinking that they're just going to release that one game mode and that one map but it's going to be in really really good condition um you know not with those bugs and everything you know obviously them taking that year to fix all the bugs was a good and, ne and necessary thing but i mean was it at the cost of obviously more content i'm hoping that is one of the issues that were addressed you know i want more content like that sounds like i'm complaining and it sounds like i'm being very demanding but guys this is coming from a resident evil fan i want to enjoy the most i can i mean resident evil before remakes what like almost nine months away eight months away at this point like oh quite a bit away Right, and I mean, I can still play Resident Evil 2, I can still play Resident Evil 3, all these other games which are amazing in their own entirety, but I mean, I'm preferably gonna play something that's newer, you know? I do have a soft spot for Resident Evil 2 Remake, I do have a soft spot for Resident Evil Village. Resident Evil Village is gonna be getting its first DLC on the 28th alongside Resident Evil Reverse, but there still could be a chance that this could be free. Now, going forward, multiple ways that they could work around this is having free content. Now again, Michael, you're, you guys are probably asking, Michael, you're asking for it to be free and now you're asking for free content. Now, if you look at Call of Duty in recent years, they kind of got rid of the old monetization. And what I mean by that is you would pay for a season pass and get four DLCs. Now, they've gotten rid of this and instead they added a battle pass and a item shop in its own sense, right? It's like Fortnite. That's how Fortnite makes its money. And with that, they added, they add skins, they add battle pass skins and all these challenges that really engage the player to play more. Of course, it is money you're spending on the game, but I mean, at the cost of it being free, right? That, that, that seems fair to fair. That could work for Resident Evil Reverse in this entirety, right? Resident Evil Reverse could be free to play with DLC maps, but to fund development, it could get those skins at Battle Pass. But alongside of that, make the maps free. Now, I, I really do understand the argument that this probably won't work 
because they are going to monetize the game already, right? It's already being monetized behind that $60 paywall. I understand that, man. I really do. But this could be an alternative, and this could be a great way to really bring a franchise together because if you guys know Capcom, they don't really have the best track record with multiplayer spin-offs in the Resident Evil franchise. The last one I could think about was Resistance, and I played a couple games of it, and I did not enjoy it. But that's just me, man. I'm not trying to tell you to stop playing it because I didn't enjoy it. You know, by all means, you guys can enjoy it. That's on you. But for me, no. But um, one more thing before I do end off the video: add crossplay, man. Add crossplay. I feel like this is just something that needs to be in every AAA game now. I mean, it's 2022. What, what? compatibility issues do they have like hardware wise i mean what issues right i think it's just sony it's it just has to be sony that does not want to end it or not end it but just end this feud with xbox i don't know but man that's just one nitpick that i hate about playstation but yeah guys that's gonna have to wrap up this video i hope you guys definitely did enjoy man i mean let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below uh, this is just a commentary. I actually made this off the top of my head, and I'm pretty proud of myself because I didn't stutter too much. I didn't really, eh, 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 you know. But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys have been enjoying.